Hey everybody, welcome back. This video is going to be all necklaces, $1 a piece. These are $1 necklaces. This is not a live video. This is a pre-recorded Buy It Now video. It is available to shop whenever you happen to be seeing this post. I am posting this in my Facebook group, but I will also cross post this video to YouTube. If you by some chance happen to see this video on YouTube, the link to our Facebook group will be in the description of the video. So click over and join the Facebook group in order to uh, purchase. So each of these necklaces is going to be $1 plus combined shipping. Unlike the earrings I've been doing, some of these are a little bit heavier. So bear that in mind when you're ordering. Um, if your package goes over or becomes one pound, then it will need to go priority mail as opposed to first class package. But if you're just ordering one or two pieces or a bunch of really light items, it can go first class package for like three to four dollars. Priority mail, of course, is more like eight dollars for like a pound or whatever. We'll do it whichever way works out best for you. Um, so this one here is number one. It is super duper long. These are plastic, kind of a faux pearl type, except they're blue. And it does have a mark on it, but I don't know who it is. It's just a letter N. So I figured I'd throw it in the dollar bin because I don't wanna research it. There could definitely be things in here that are not dollar items, but I honestly have so much jewelry, I need to get rid of them, so let's get rid of them. So 10, 20, yeah, this is like close to 30 inches just in drop, which means it's close to 60 inches. You could probably use this as a belt, or you would make strands out of it by, you know, folding it over. So really long, blue, Silver tone. That's number one. Number two. Number two, these are lightweight plastic beads. Um, the, uh, the gold colored ones are also plastic. And it sits with this dangle that would be at the front. Um, let's see. The drop is. Uh, 14 inches plus the dangle. Okay, and that's number two. Again, these are all only $1 a piece. Need to get this jewelry out of here. There's so, so, so much of it. There's boxes I haven't even opened. I need you guys to help me get rid of it. I'm also offering mystery boxes of jewelry. There's a post about that in the Facebook group if anyone's interested. These are lightweight. Um, I believe these are all plastic as well. It's got three strands. It's about 10 inch drop. That's number three. Number four. I don't know what this is supposed to be. I would think it's supposed to be that side looks better, but this side has these little things on it. Um, I don't know, kind of bohemian. Actually, um, the clasp is broken on this one, guys. It doesn't seem to be, I think that's just supposed to be an extender and the clasp is broken or something. Something's wrong with this. Um, I will leave it here just because it's already in the box if you want it, but otherwise, if it doesn't sell, I'll be putting this into a craft lot. Um, but these are glass beads. The big ones and then these ones are wooden so it is a cool piece but it is broken fyi that's number four number five is yeah i don't know what this is i've seen this kind of stuff before i don't know what the style's called they're all plastic and they're like sorry let me make sure you can see it <laughs> they're like stitched and then it has this ornate clasp on it with some filigree no markings on it I 
So there's that. If you want that one, it's number five. Number six, silver tone um, toggle clasp with this blingy heart on it. One side is like an open cage, although I don't think it opens to put anything inside. It's just empty cage. And then this side is rhinestone bling. But it's tarnished. It's not in great shape. So that's $1. They're all $1. That was number six. Um, this one here is going to be number seven. They're... I don't know. I don't think that they're made of metal. I think that's just a painted metallic. But I'm not sure what they are. They might be some sort of uh, ceramic or something painted. I'm not really sure. And the drop is just over eight inches. We're gonna make that number seven. I accidentally put two things in seven, so we'll get to that other piece at the end. All right, number eight is wood. Oh, it's looped around itself. There we go. So it's just got this kind of clasp. Wood. Colored wood. I don't know. It's... It's actually got two of these. Oh, I know this isn't, it's, okay. It's got an extra little clasp end on it. Um, you could just take off. It could be that someone was using it for like, uh, eyeglasses or something, but you could take one of those off and use it as a necklace because it has both ends. It just has an extra piece on it. So that's number eight. Number nine, pastel colors. This is branded. It's called Baked Beads. Um, I don't know what that is. I might be making a mistake selling it to you for a dollar. You can check that yourself. So they're like a baked, like a pottery type bead. And that's number nine. Number 10, super cool. These are faux pearls. It's a choker. This just kind of sits around your neck. I think these are supposed to be connected here and they're not. But both sides are like that, so I'm not. Oh yeah, see this one's got two connected and this one only has one connected. So I think they need to be just clipped on the ends, the little metal prongs. So this is definitely old, super cool, definitely probably worth more than a dollar and I'm probably making a mistake putting it in this group, but there you have it, number 10. Number 11, this is just a little seed bead, earth tones, single strand, about 15 inches in drop. That's number 11. Number 12 is just a tan brown colored plastic beads. Um, they are What's the word I'm looking for? They're molded. So nothing special, but maybe you like them. That's number 12. Number 13, gold tone metal. I'm not sure what this shape's supposed to be. It's got a nice box clasp. And it's got about an eight inch drop, 16 inch total. Number 13. Number 14 is we got some mixed textiles here. It's got metal, it's got black string crocheting or something. And it's got this rhinestone piece in the middle. Lobster clasp. Sorry if I'm going off camera. I'm getting used to a new mount that I'm using.
um, probably does have some imperfections in the way it's stitched. This might be something that was handmade. I'm not sure. It's got some weight to it. And it's also about an eight inch drop. Trying to get down a little better. Plus it has this extender on it as well. So that's number 14. Number 15, silver tone. Um, I think the beads are plastic, but the, the chain is a lightweight metal. So it's got a lobster clasp. So this one isn't very old. Some of this stuff's vintage, some of it's not, it's a mix. And this just sits like that. So it's got the two balls on the side and then the dangle in the front. And it's about 15, 16 inches. 17 if you count the whole chain for the drop. Number 15. All right, this one's number 16. Oh, this is actually a bracelet. It's in the wrong video, but I'm going to keep it here because it's already here. So this is number 16, it's a toggle like this, which makes it a bracelet, cause that'd be a really tiny neck. These are, um, I think these are some an actual stone, but they're like almost clear. So I don't know what that is, but I think those are natural. The spacers are plastic, I think. And that's number 16. Number 17 is lobster clasp it's a little loose to the spacing there um but the blue the blue ones and the disc ones are glass beads and then these ones are wooden so it's glass and wood beads on wire it's got about seven inch drop and that's number 17. Number 18 is a gold toned metal. It's white, well, kind of a cream colored bead, as well as these metallic-y ones. Um, I don't know what these are. They don't feel like, like they're not, I don't think they're stone. They're crafted of some something. It's either like heavy duty plastic or some kind of ceramic something. I really don't know. I'm not good at that. So that might be something, I don't know, might not. The drop is about 14 inches drop, so 28 inches altogether. And that's number 18. And then remember we had an extra one stuck up in there. So we're just going to make this number 19 if you want it. And, oh my goodness, it's got a tangle in it. So assuming we can get the knot out. There we go. Ta-da! It's just a little heart with a bling in the center. Nothing fancy about it. A little kid's piece. Lobster claw clasp. It's not old. With an extender. But it's a buck. It sits about nine inches to 10 inches if you use the extender. And we're gonna call that one number 19. So numbers one through 19, they're all necklaces, except for number 16, which was a bracelet. Just comment the number of the item that you would like with the word sold. So if you'd like this one, you're just gonna put sold number nine. If you have not purchased from me before, make sure you PM me with your uh, email address and your zip code. You can send that to me on Facebook. And um, I'll get you an invoice sent out through PayPal. Again, for shipping, anything under a pound will go first class package. If it's over a pound, it has to go priority mail. But I'll combine everything that you want to purchase throughout the week through all of my videos. Um, also, if you purchase photographs or ephemera from me, we can combine the shipping on all that as well. Put it in one box. If you have any questions, please let me know. And I will see you all soon. Thank you.